Hello everyone and welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum. Once again I'm Pete. And I'm Luke. And when you, uh, when you last joined us we, we had just seen Dr. Jonathan Crane and Mr. Croc go, uh, go into the uh, the water there. As I said last time they're probably on their way back to Gotham City. So, so that's, now that Scarecrow's out of the picture we now have to deal with Croc's lair. The all important uh, spores. But first we have another Joker trophy over here. And with our line launcher we can just zip on over. Isn't that fun? How convenient. I know. I thought I made them easy to find. I guess not. Yeah, makes you wonder why Batman just didn't have this right from the start. Yeah. Okay, well there is actually an explanation for that in Arkham City, the next game in this series. It basically doesn't, uh, doesn't take all his gadgets with him everywhere because they're too heavy. They weigh his utility belt down. No really, that's his explanation. <laughs> But, but considering it's Batman, that's not really much of an excuse. I mean, he's he's usually the poster boy for being, being prepared for every eventuality. But anyway. Yeah, this all looks very safe, doesn't it? I'm sure it's fine. They just put that up for the tourists. Oracle, I'm heading into Croc's lair to collect the plant spores Ivy spoke about. He's in some kind of old sewer network. Send me the schematics. It's like a maze down here. There's nothing on record. Bruce, are you sure about this? Sounds like a suicide mission. I've got no choice. I've tuned the scanner to detect the spores required to make the antivenom. It'll lead me straight to them. What about Croc? Croc's just an animal. And animals just need traps and the right bait. I'll be fine. I'll contact you when I'm done. Anyway, Batman goes on suicide missions all the time. What's uh, one more? Hey, who fancies lunch? These floating platforms will support me, but will also send sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll need to move as slowly as possible. Okay, so you see that uh, little gauge in the far left there? Yeah. That shows how much sound you're making on the platforms. So if you go too fast, like that, yeah, that's usually a bad thing. Yeah. That's usually a bad thing because Croc, uh, Croc can trace you by the sign, so you have to move slowly. And we, oh yeah, we don't have the map for this place, but it's pretty damn big. So yeah, at th this point the game suddenly turns into a survival horror game out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with normal speed just to pop up, make him pop up so we can see what happens. <laughs> so I'm trying to showcase this game. Come on, Croc. Okay, this game seems to be trying to make the point that I was going to make in just a minute for me. <laughs> come on, come on. Here, Crocky boy. There he is! Oh. Yeah, <coughs> so... <laughs> yeah, so do you remember uh, the Scarecrow cutscene earlier when uh, Batman just basically threw the batarang at his collar and that shocked him into submission? Yeah. That's all we have to do. Oh. So, so yeah, this... Uh, once you figure that out, this kind of changes this whole thing. Like the... There you are. Oh, he spotted us again. Yeah, there he is. Um, no. Um, down he goes. Okay. So yeah, the first time you go through this, uh, this section of the game, it is arse-tighteningly tense, to, to coin a phrase. But then uh, on subsequent playthroughs, when you know the tricks, when you all you have to do is just uh, wait for him to pop up and then throw a batarang at him like you're playing whack-a-mole, then it just becomes a bit of a slog, frankly. These spores don't contain enough of the antivenom mold. I'm going to need to find more. Of course not. And you can just uh, walk at normal speed with your batarang at the ready, so you don't even have to be cautious. But yeah, you can see the... 
don't know what happened there. Yeah, you can see what the, uh, the test tube on the uh, above the sound meter there. That uh, we just basically need to find enough spores to fill that, and then we head back to the mainland. And then, oh, oh, there he is. Hello. What? I think he forgot he got hit for a second there. Yeah. Delayed reaction. Yeah. Oh, and we can also see uh, uh, how far the spores are, but it doesn't tell us what direction they're in. So you just have to kind of play hot and cold a wee bit, just to uh, make sure we're heading in the right direction. Okay. Oh. Oi, down boy. Come on. Get. And bye-bye. Yeah, to be fair, if he does get within striking range, then you just basically immediately die. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, the game does not fuck around. Oh, hello again. <laughs> Presumably he hasn't been fed today. Now, another way you can just avoid the whole uh, sign problem. Just zip over the platforms. They can't do a thing. Oops. It'll do something in just a second. Come on, where are you? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it just gets a bit boring after a while. Uh oh. Where's he going? What the what? Oh, there he is. Wow. <laughs> okay, he came up on the wrong side there. That's never happened. I was saying that happened before. 81 meters away. Oh, going the wrong way. <laughs> I'll be this way. There we go, just zip line everywhere. You cannot hide from me. Oh, that usually means he's gonna just find him. Oh, yeah, there he is. Somewhere. Oh, hello. Hi, Willem. Bye bye. <laughs> Not that way, but this way. Yeah, this way. And zip. Oh. Way! Okay. They <laughs> will enjoy feasting on your bones. Okay, so I may have got a wee bit over-exuberant there, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it doesn't drop us all the way back at the start of the maze. We've still got the uh, the two spores that we started with. Up and over. Your flesh will tear. Yeah, oh, there he is. And there he goes. <laughs> So we can zip line the rest of the way. And here we go. Nope, wrong way. Wrong way again. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so we just popped up, banged his head on a pipe, and went down again. Yeah, you're debating how much uh, to even keep in this video of this uh, this particular scene, because this is really the kind of the only string Croc has to his bow. Now let him bust the gate open. <coughs> so really, he's doing nothing except making it slightly easier for us to get out. Yeah, that's good. Ah, uh, oh, that's what caught us out the last time because he came up behind the barrier. There, sample number three. 
Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's cleared another barrier for him. Isn't that generous? Okay, now, now it looks to me like there's still plenty of uh, spore left on that we could use as samples. No, apparently Batman isn't satisfied. Keep on ziplining him. Whoop! Okay, okay, that's something I've never seen before. <laughs> apparently that's what happens if you fall off. No matter, we're back here again. Bye bye. Just need to remember to let go a wee bit earlier this time. Um, there we go. Oh, look, there's another one right there. It's convenient. Go on, man. You are my Hmm? Yeah, it's basically the one other trick that he tries to pull during this boss fight, just destroying the platforms. So okay. why he doesn't just destroy all of them and then just completely screw Batman, I don't know, but to be fair, Croc isn't exactly the brightest. Right. And here, by the time he almost beat Batman, he threw a rock at him. It was a big rock. Oh, here we go. There we go. You just remember he can uh, take out the platforms there, so we just have to keep running until he forgets again. Right, which way are we going? Not that way. This way. Oh, there he is. So, yeah, I appreciate they're trying to uh, make Croc. Uh, like a legitimate threat so that Batman can't take in a straightforward fight, but it's kind of undermined when every time you see him you just love one batarang at him and he gives up again. Yeah. Yeah, see what I mean? He didn't even get one foot forward that time. <laughs> We want to bet he's gonna uh, bust, bust open that uh, barrier at some point. I think we probably need him to, otherwise, we can't advance. Come on, then. Come on, Crocky. Now we have to take the long way around. You know, I have to say, Croc, your hospitality leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, not that one. Oh, there it is. Oh, go away. Okay, that one was a bit close, I'll admit. Like Croc says, it was a big rock. I've got enough spores. I need to get back to the Batcave and formulate the antidote. Oh, I get it. You've activated a sonar beacon down there. Clever. That's basically Batman's equivalent of leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. What about Croc? He won't be a problem. <laughs> See, even Batman isn't taking him seriously at this point. So why should we? Oh shit. Nope. Batarang, batarang. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Look, Batman's not even upset about getting his shoes wet. Nope, run away. Run away! Run away until he forgets he can just smash the things again. Nope. Take the git, and... Down again. <laughs> Just going one more, <laughs> I might actually be in trouble there. But 
No, it just doesn't occur to him. Yep, let's go ahead and take that pipe out. It'll make things easier for me. Thank you! <laughs> oh, it's not even the right way. Oh, come on! Don't even have to go back that way. So by process elimination, this way. That's bad, that's bad. That's less bad. <laughs> oh, will you just let me get one complete length of the zip line before you pop up? Just once. Again. Okay, done. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother looking at them this time. Under 150 meters, almost back. And probably if he, ah, here we go. Yeah, we basically already made it at this point. Just have to keep running. The old Crash Bandicoot style run towards the camera level. Which does occasionally throw a a dickish curve on the road in front of you, just make you run right off it. But okay, we're home safe. Oh. Okay, so remember that booby trap Batman laid earlier? My caves will be your tomb. Go on, a bit closer. And boom! So that's all that Croc is going to contribute to the plot. So now we have to head back to the back cave to formulate the anti-Titan compound. As indeed it says there. Yeah, we've just done this game, thank you. Oh, and look, what do you think? More Joker teeth. And we've just got an upgrade. Let's see, what next? Battering power? No. Mm. I think that'll probably come in handy earlier, but there's not many um, uh, Predator seconds left. I don't, I don't think there's any left now. Now we'll just go for standard battering power then. Let's head over to the teeth. There's another batch taken care of. We're back to some standard lads now. Yeah, I'm sure they're very scary after de dealing with Killer Croc, aren't they? So, boom, boom, boom. Oi! Trying to deal with your meal first. Okay, you can lie down. Once again, I've, I've been playing Arkham City again. Oh. Ah, 
so I've gotten used to the controls of that one, so that was why I fucked my combo up there and went for the, the Arkham City, but, uh... Hello? I take it you felt that. The plants are going crazy. I'm getting seismic spikes in all locations. It's not good. It's okay. I've got the mold samples. I'm heading to the Batcave to mix up the antidote. Good. I tell you to hurry, but I'm sure you know what you're doing. Contact me in the cave if you need anything. So yeah, I've got uh, I've gotten used to the Arkham City control scheme, which is slightly different for the quick fire hook shot. So yeah, muscle memory being a problem. Ah, here we go. Uh, somehow I missed this uh, the last time we came through here, and I kicked myself when when I was editing it because it was right there. So there we go. New brick, metal and paint covered old wounds. Fresh blood was injected into the body. Bright new minds came, and all swore to uphold our promises. We all knew we were the ones to fix this city, and the city would thank us. Yeah, Amadeus Arkham's starting to think he's Charles Bronson. <laughs> no, which way are we going? Oh yeah, this way. Scan and open. This time we're going into the back of the other way. How close are you to making the cure? Eighty percent. It's been more difficult than I expected. The process is slow, difficult, and doesn't produce much antidote. And the good news? The chemical will definitely stop Ivy. It may also reverse the Titan transformation. I need to run some more tests to be sure. I've set the computer to create more, but I need to get out of here and find Ivy. Thank God. Her plans have reached the Gotham River. So now we have the, f uh, the final gadget of the game, the Ultra Bat Claw. Oh. I think they're uh, beginning to run out of videos at that point, because you can see in the cutscene there, it is literally just three Bat Claws glued together. <laughs> so, so yeah, it fires up to three hooks at one time, so all those uh, uh, cement walls that were up off the ground that we couldn't get to the explosive gel, now we can just pull them down. Because apparently that's how physics works. Here we go. We can't get close enough to spray any uh, explosive gel on that, so we just... I'm going to remember where it is. Ah, here we go. Ultra Black Claw. Just completely replaces the normal one. So yeah, we just pulled down a concrete wall. Yeah. And again, Batman has no superpowers, I remind you. Beyond, you know, infinite money. And once again it begs the question of, he just picked that up from the Batcave, so why didn't he just pick that up the first time he came through here? You always forget something. Exactly. Walks into the room and forgets what he went in for. Uh-huh. There we go, a nice sweeping panoramic view of the uh, cliffs we have to glide around. Uh, this next bit isn't particularly challenging, it's just uh, just a bit of fun, just connecting the dots really. Just have to glide from, from here to there, to there, to there, to there, and onward. Yeah, not too much. 
Right? We've got a pretty good view of Gotham City, don't we? Oh, that backdrop is not aged well, I'm just noticing. <laughs> just a bunch of stickers uh, stuck onto the buildings to uh, represent lights on. Oh well, anyway. Well, let's make a start. Um, dog. Do you think the Riddler knows he uh, got a Riddler trophy this close to the Batcave? <laughs> uh, he is going to kick himself when he finds out. This whole thing is just basically one final test for all the gadgets you've uh, acquired over the game, so... Yeah, I like the, uh, the grappling hook, hook, the gliding, the line gun... I'm remembering to look up. Uh, yeah, I think is there a trophy up here? No, oh, there isn't. Strange. Seems like anything else there should be. Well, just a just a foothold we got up here. Oh no, hang on a second. It's supposed to be gliding around there. Is there one over here? And I'm going to do something Korea just to get uh, there up here a second. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> this way. There's my trophy. Now the burning question, how do we get back? Well, okay, it's not that hard. Now uh, back we go. Um, right, 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 right. Oh yeah, another uh, little just quality of life improvement from Arkham City onward. Batman grapples up automatically if he, when you get to a ledge, you don't have to push an extra button. Ah, okay. So it makes it a, a wee bit more intuitive. Or maybe it just feel, makes us feel less intuitive, I don't know. But anyway. Oh yeah, we're back here again. Oi. Really, Bruce, you couldn't hold on to that one? Well, this drop us back here anyway, so no big loss. Yeah, after all that, we've come all the way back to Croc's Lair again. <laughs> oh, piss off spores. So yeah, you know the, those pods that did nothing but make uh, traversing the overworld a pain in the arse? Now they've made it down here as well. They won't get that far. My antidote will stop them and I. Park Mile North, that sounds like the way. I hope. Is that a bomb below? How did I miss that? We have seen a second pod. Alright, come on then, get it over with. Someone's got a seriously runny nose. <laughs> Oracle, we've got another problem. What now? Two Face, Riddler, some kind of giant Joker robot? Unfortunately, nothing that simple. 
I'm at the main sewer junction, and it appears to be polluted with Titan. Why? What's he doing now? I'll look into it. Still some riddles to find here, if you may say. Oh, only one. That must be doing better than I thought. He says as he blunders into a blind corner. Okay, where the hell am I going? Oh, right, of course. Here we go. Oh, come on. You couldn't have just climbed up from there, really? Oh, there's the rocks with the weird physics again. Don't seem to be bouncing properly. Ugh. Friggin' pods. Should be a riddle around here somewhere with the... Uh... Oh yep, that's how we know where we're supposed to go. There's dudes up there waiting for us. But yeah, there should be one of those question mark puzzles around here somewhere. I think we can actually get to it now as well. The Titan water seems to be corrosive, but it shouldn't trouble the suit. What have you found out? I'm not sure you're ready for this. No, but go ahead. Joker's pumping all the waste product from the Titan process into that chamber. It acts as a kind of natural storage tank. Once it's full, it releases the water into the Gotham River. Normally, it's safe, but... But this time it's full of Titan. How do I stop it? I'm working on it. Oh, oh yeah, there's the trophy we missed earlier. You have to look up to find it, but no sign of it yet. According to the plans I have on file, there are three control rooms. The first is directly above you. I'll shut them all down. What will happen if this Titan stuff reaches Gotham? It won't reach Gotham. Oh, trophy. So one final diversion before we get to add Ivy. We have to take out the control rooms. After we find the riddle, obviously. Where the hell is it? Oh, never mind, we can probably come back later once we find the map. Hey lads, what's up? It's the right, punch, punch, punch. Oh. Yeah, there's the old Arkham City control screen fucking with my head again. Punch you, and um, break you. Oh, I like that. He actually braced for it there. <laughs> Didn't do him any good, of course. Oh, look, I'm up. Hello.
Right, okay. Uh, so there's still a few more to get in here. Uh, I'm going to have to go all the way back down to the bottom, aren't I? Okay, you know what, I'm just going to uh, wrap up here and then just kind of put a sped up montage of finding the rest of these uh, riddles and such like here, because honestly it's not going to be very interesting to, uh, to watch, so I'll do that and we'll pick right back up afterwards. So until then, say goodnight, Viv. Good night, Viv. Good night, everybody. I found them! Rid of me this now and rid of me fast Does anyone really know the mind of the bad?